Spirit, Idaho. <laughs> I'm Aaron Burge. Oh, and today I'm meeting Annika. She works for John Deere and she also has her Google Data Analytics Certificate. So if you're on the hunt for the next step in your career, this is a great place to start. John John Poppers! John John Poppers! Annika! Erin! Woo! Amazing up? driving. You ready? Show me around, yeah. Okay. Off we go. So what brings you to Idaho, or are you from here originally? I grew up here wow. in northern Idaho. So huh. very different terrain, but still very beautiful. So you're a full-time student? Yes. But you also have a job. I do. So I work for John Deere full-time in the summer and then part-time when I'm a student. That's a lot. Is there anything else you do? I'm in a couple of societies, play some sports, fly football. I don't remember the last time I ever played football. We'll have to change that. <laughs> Yeah. Wait, is that a waterfall? See, that's how you can wake up in the morning. <laughs> Hello, Rock. Do you mind if we sit on you? So, question. What made you get a Google Career Certificate? So, I got hit by a car in eighth grade and sustained a traumatic brain injury. When I graduated, I had gotten into college, but we didn't know if I could actually sustain this lifestyle being mm -hmm. away from home. And so I heard about this Google certificate. It's completely flexible. It's on your own pace. So I chose the data analytics one and I did it first two semesters in college and started applying to jobs. Wait, didn't you just say you play flag football? <laughs> I do, yes. <laughs> Before I had the car accident, sports were like my entire life. I, yeah. I played everything that I could. And so this is a healthy way that I can do what I love while still being safe. Go to school, have a job, and play sports. Only way to live. <laughs> <laughs> so your major is data science. Mm -hmm. And so then I have two minors in business analytics and statistics. <laughs> so wait, what's the difference between data science and data analytics? Data analytics is a more historical view of data and okay. looking at past data and like really diving into that for insights. With like data science, it's a little bit more broad. Mm -hmm. And so we can look into more prescriptive okay. data science where we look in the future and we use past data to make informed decisions about oh. what we can do moving forward. So data analytics, is data you've gotten from the past, data science is using that for the future. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Quick learner. Was there like a moment where you were like, oh, I really love this? I've always had an interest in it. Mm -hmm. And then the more I know about this, the more yeah. secure I am that this is what I want to do. I get that. So wait, how did John Deere come into the picture? Like, was that after your Google career certificates or? Yeah, it was a couple months after I found a link in like <laughs> part-time position at John Deere. And I was like, Deal. So they hired you because you had this Google Career Certificate in Data Analytics. Mm -hmm. If you didn't know, I love tractors. No, I, I could jump on that just a little bit. Can you hook me up with a tractor? Actually, I can. Oh my gosh. Job, job, poppers! So what's next on your day-to-day -day activities? Working. Where is working? On campus? Nope. It's in my apartment. <laughs> so let's go? Yeah, let's go. Let's get Let's drive on over. <sighs> you got a lot of stairs. So where do you work? My Here. office and bedroom are this way. All right, let's go. This is nice. Oh, is this a weighted blanket? It is, yeah. Oh, I love weighted <laughs> blankets. They're so nice. They make you feel like you're getting hugged. So wait, what is your job title at John Deere? Reporting and analytics. Wow, official. <laughs> okay, Thank so what you. does that mean? What do you do? I can't go into specifics. Okay. So but yeah. they give my team some mm -hmm. like, business objectives and then okay. we mine through data, like analyze data. And then we go from there into creating graphs so that we can take all of this sometimes right confusing code yeah. and turning it into something that's easily digestible. For me. For you. For yeah. yeah. Do you get to work with tractors? No. Oh. No. So can you walk me through like your day to day? Like what do you do first when you go to work? Well, I roll right out of bed, okay. log on, then go through my emails. Mm -hmm. So that way I start the day being prepared and caught up on everything. Like a huge focus in our team is collaboration. We have water cooler meetings like twice a week, which is where we just like hang out as a team and like <gasps> bond together, which is actually so much fun. So mm -hmm. working remotely, who do you work with? Well, I got my manager that we're like the closest to. Okay. And then I have a team of around 10 people. I'm really, really lucky because they let me try in a lot of different hats. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> so I get to be like working with a data engineer and a data catalyst and data wrangler and data scientist. They don't really put limits on me. So you're just learning every day. <laughs> that's so cool yeah. though. And they're all willing to teach you? <laughs> yes, they're all so sweet. Job, job, poppers. 
What is something that surprised you when you first started working? Probably the biggest thing is I was worried that I wasn't going to be able to keep up with the work with mm -hmm. my traumatic brain injury. I didn't want them to like fall behind because I couldn't keep up. But if I have like really bad brain fog at a certain time, I can step away. They are super accommodating to that. And that was really surprising. So what's satisfying about what you do? The problem solving aspect of the job. That's mostly what my job is. It's like usually one bigger problem and then like little ones that come up when mm -hmm. I'm trying to like solve it. And so being able to like understand and like upskill is huge yeah. and incredibly rewarding. When you were taking the Google Career Certificate, was it right away they jumped into like code languages and stuff? Not right away, because the main part of the certificate is like actually learning the day of the life of a data analyst. So you don't need to know code to take the certificate? I like, never coded before in my life before the certificate. What? Yeah. And now you're crushing it with tractors. Sick. <laughs> Wait, were you filming that? So two years left in college. What are your career goals after you graduate? There's so many different options to go into with data that I haven't quite narrowed it down, but I do know that I want it to always involve code and problem solving. And as long as it has those two things, I'm going to be happy. Okay, so coding. How much coding is involved in what you do? A ton. A lot? A lot. How many code languages are there? Hundreds at really? least. What? What's your favorite? SQL. SQL. Like how many languages do you know in the code world? Five or six. In English too? So with all the different code languages, what are the basics that I need to know before I learn any of them? We'll be using a lot of functions. Function is? So there are like predetermined functions okay. where they will have like parameters okay. that you can like implement with like variables. Okay. It'll be like the function name and then like parentheses. And okay. then there'll be like the parameters that are needed. And then you as the user get to like input the variables that are okay. actually going to be there. And then within the functions code, that's where like it gets implemented because it's already written out. Can you give me an example? Okay, so if we're going to go back and relate this to like flag football, so like a function is like a play. Okay. Or like a route. Okay. So if I were to be like play X, right, in the function that we could code, I could have, okay, like do a stutter step and then in function X we'll have you run in mm -hmm. and then out. And then like when you hit out is when you catch the ball. <sighs> Very, like, basic okay. question. Let's create a flag football play. Okay. Like, quarterback to touchdown. I'm down. Let's get that touchdown. Wait, before we get any further, none of this is, like, classified, right? None of this has to do with my work. Okay. We can name it Aaron's play. Aaron's play. Very original. <laughs> Thank you. <Okay. laughs> All right, we'll define it. And we'll have four parameters. Setter step, side, which will just be left or right. Yards, which is how far you'll run. And then if you'll slant or not. And it's stutter step is this thing, right? Where you go like, yeah, you go like oh, side side. Yeah. side. Okay, cool. Also, another vocabulary word is boolean. One more time. Boolean. 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 <laughs> yeah, so stutter step and slant will basically be boolean variables. What does that mean? Can't go straight, you can either go left or right. Okay. And so as you see above, because these are variables, you can see like yes correlates to stutter step, right correlates to side, 10 correlates to yards, and yes correlates to slant. Oh, and so okay. then if we go into the code, we create a list called play. Mm -hmm. Then we go to like the first parameter, stutter step, and like if stutter step equals yes, then we will append it to the list. And appending means to... Add it. Add it. Yeah, because if we relate it back to a route mm -hmm. in flag football, if we weren't to append yards, mm -hmm. you would have no idea where to run, and I would have no idea where to throw. Oh. So if we append 10 yards to our play, then you know where you're going, and I know where you're going. Oh, okay. That makes sense. And then, like, return play is just, like, putting it in motion. So wait, would return play be, like, you saying hike? Yeah. Once I say hike, it's when the magic happens. You want to try that right now? Let's do it. Welcome, everybody. It's a crisp day here for flag football as Team Red takes on Team Blue. Entering the game for the Reds is wide receiver Aaron Burris. Let's see what he's learned. Hey, team. Sorry I'm late. No worries. It's fourth quarter, seven minutes left in the game. We need you. Okay, who are we playing? Them. Break! Oh, looks like he's going to run into some special competition here. Veronica? Very special indeed. Defensive powerhouse Ronnie Merrill Burris is key to the Blues winning strategy. This is going to be interesting. Okay, what's the plan? We're going to do Aaron's play. Setter step, yes. Side, left, yards, 10, slant, yes. Break. Side step, side step. Ronnie, what are you doing here? I'm here to stop you from scoring. Fight! 
Annika looking to pass. She throws! I don't think that's what was supposed to happen. Seems like the code got scrambled. Right here, Burris cuts right instead of left, and Annika threw a perfect pass to Nova. All right, hold up, everyone. Hold up, hold up. Let's see what they can do now. My bad, guys. Got my codes mixed up. No worries. We'll run Aaron's play again, but we'll do stutter step no, side left, yard 20, slant no. All right, you got this. Yeah, Ready? we got this. Break. Break. Stutter step, stutter step, cross. What's wrong, Aaron? Can't remember your play. Not all of it. Set, cut. A high snap, but Annika recovers. Aaron does a stutter step left. Great defensive coverage for Ronnie, but I don't think Aaron was clued into that play from the snap. Doesn't feel like he understands the code. Looks like he needs to get a certificate of his own. One that gives you touchdowns. <laughs> <laughs> okay, setting the stage for the second half with Team Blue on offense, it's their chance for a touchdown. The crowd is on their feet. The score is still 0-0. Zero, zero. Team Blue is in scoring distance. Let's see what they have cooking. All right. A quick shovel pass to Ronnie. She's at the 15. Diving to the 10. She's at the five. Touchdown! Yeah. Team Blue on the board with six points. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. See right here, she spins, takes Burris out, and then from here it's just an easy path to the end zone. Spectacular play. <laughs> We'll be back with more flag football after a break. Aaron, why are you calling me in the middle of the game? When did you get good at football? Football is just like coding. Everyone knows that. When did you learn how to code? You don't know me. You don't know my life. We're married. Aaron, I'll see you on the field. Oh, yeah. I forgot we're playing a game, aren't we? We got to play. I love you. Okay, bye. And we're back with Team Red trailing Team Blue. What do you think? Is there enough time for Team Red to score? We shall see. All right, they're lining up now. Sorry, I just underestimated Ronnie. Come on, Aaron. I got it, I got it, I got it. Okay, so what are we gonna do? Okay, because we only have seven seconds left. This might be a little crazy, but it's all we got. It all comes down to this big play. Great. Will Aaron carry that big baked potato through the giant age and off into the golden fields of the wheat? I'm gonna score. Try me. <sighs> Set, put. A perfect snap. <laughs> Annika's got her eyes downfield. Stutter step equals yes. Slam equals yes. Spinning move equals yes. Doing this thing equals yes. Catch equals yes. First catches it in the end zone. Woo! He lined up all the code. Touchdown. That ties the game. Game over. That's another great day for flag football here at Job Yay! Hopper Stadium. Yay! You're all sweaty. <sighs> okay, let go. Good job, Aaron. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm good. Ooh, that was so much fun. Job. How often do you play? Just a couple times a week. I know, I'm already exhausted. Oh, it was so fun playing with you guys, and you're so good at football. Thanks. I had never played flag football before college, but because of a traumatic brain injury, it was a really good middle ground where I could still be active but not put myself in danger. And the same goes for like my career. Mm -hmm. I couldn't do something like manual labor. I couldn't do something with a lot of stimulation. And that's why data analytics opened that door of like remote working. That's very inspiring. You're not letting anything stop you from doing what you want to do. It's so impressive. Okay, so my favorite part, what piece of advice would you give anyone interested in entering the data analytics field? Be curious and stay curious. There is always something to learn. There's hundreds of programming languages out there, and there's new jobs being created like every day at this point. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there's no limitations with this field. You can go wherever you want, do whatever you want. Speaking of being curious, we have something for you. <laughs> Ta-da! Ta <-da> -da! <laughs> it doesn't have anything engraved on it, so maybe you can engrave like the be curious on yeah. it. I love it. It's adorable. Well, thank you so much for having us. Yeah. yeah. Thank, thank you for you. letting us play with you. Yeah. Your team was there. Great. This was so fun. It's so good to meet you. I have more chips in my hair. I needed to get it okay. taken off. Where were you hiding that trophy? <laughs> Annika's incredible. I mean, she does so much, not to mention flag football is a lot harder than it looks. But that's it for me today, guys. Don't forget to click the link to find out how Google Career Certificates can help you guys take the next step. Goodbye, football. Goodbye, Idaho. Hello, job hoppers. Stutter step.
Look. Ronnie, wait for me. How do you normally sign off on these videos? Oh, I just scream job hoppers. Job hoppers. No, 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 you got it like this. Job hoppers. <laughs> I'm going back. That's embarrassing. What? No, nobody's here. <laughs> See ya.